Hi guys, today I get asked lots of questions on how I do. Also, I'm talking really weird because I just had two fillings done at the dentist earlier today and my face is still kind of numb, so I sound really weird. But anyways, I get asked lots of questions how I do my acrylic pore paintings, so I thought I would just kind of do like an instructional video and show you guys what works for me. But anyways, um, in my vlog that I posted, I did a blue and tan colored one that was like a beach type theme. And this is how it turned out. I really love it a lot. It is so like, and I, I don't know, it's just, it's like, I want to be there with it. Like, <laughs> take me there. But, um, I love these little shiny little thingies that I put in it. And then... I had a bunch of leftover paint and then I got those six little canvases and they turned out pretty cute too. So, hold on, focus please. There's one of them. I have five of them, but I'm just gonna show you my favorites. I like this one a lot. It's pretty cool. And I think I'm gonna keep them matte. Usually I put a gloss varnish over them. But I don't think I'm gonna do that. But I will show you guys what I use when I do varnish my paintings. But there's this one too. The other two are pretty cute, but not as cute as those ones. But anyways, I'm just gonna get with the video. So I use these paint strainers and also, okay, you need two cups. I use solo cups, but really, use anything my mom just gets mad at me when i ruin her um dishes with paint which i do often so yeah don't do that but anyway so i just get solo cups from fred meyers if you are from alaska you probably don't have a fred meyers but i'm sure there's somewhere you can buy solo cups i don't know it though cvs walgreens i don't know but and then i just get these at Lowe's. Home Depot has them too, but they're not the same brand. The brand doesn't really matter. I haven't noticed that one works better than the other. But you have to strain. I'll show you the stuff when I when I get that far. So I just kind of fold it so that it's more of a cone shape and doesn't like it's like this. Then I put it in the cup, and then what I'm straining is this this stuff is magical it helps develop the cells in the paintings and i don't know how to explain it but it like just makes the consistency of the paint awesome also oh i this one's filled with just regular water like for my fridge so you need that to thin out your paint but yeah it smells kind of weird i also get this at lowe's and home depot they both have it uh, when I was buying it last though, because I went to Lowe's to get my silicone and Home Depot sells a really big, um, well this one's gone, sells like a really big jug of it, but I don't think Lowe's does because this was the biggest size and it goes pretty quickly because you have to use it in every color that you mix, but it gets really clumpy, like you can kind of see like I don't know if you can see, but there's big clumps that like, like in the sea, there you can kind of see them. <laughs> Oops. Okay, well, and when the clumps get on your painting, it's just ugly, like, we don't want that, no. Okay, so after you get your floral strained and no longer goopy, you can just set that aside because you're not going to need that right now. Uh, for a little bit and then the next step is to get smaller cups if you want to you can use big solo cups but i don't really see the point because you don't need that much paint and then you're just gonna end up wasting it so i use the fred wire brand home sense bath and plastic cups they're very small they could and um okay so I'm gonna decide what colors I want to use now. I'm gonna set this aside. Um, so I have two canvases, so I'm gonna do two different ones. 
Here's one of them. It's the same size as that one. And then this one. Is... Oh, my heart's beating. I'm just it off my camera. And then this one. It's a little bit bigger than that one, but like not a whole lot. <laughs> See, comparison, not that much bigger. But I know for one of them, I want to do white with turquoise down the middle. And I think I'm just gonna go for another beachy look with the second one. But anyways, so we're just gonna start mixing up the colors. Um, it's a really boring process, so I think I'm just gonna show you how I'm gonna do one on camera and then mix all the rest off camera. What's that ringing? And then pour stuff. Okay. Okay, so, um, no, I want a picture of color that's easier to see. Okay, we're just gonna go straight in with turquoise. I use heavy body acrylics, so just regular acrylics. Like, this is like $3.99 at Michael's. And you don't need a lot of paint because the Floetrol thickens it and makes it more. So... It's literally not even all the way full up to that second little like dash, like the first little thing. Like there's not much in there. Oh, you also need popsicle sticks. Very important. So you can mix up your paint. So you wanna add water to the paint until it's like the consistency of melted ice cream. But if you add too much water and just go back in with paint, it's not a big deal. And some paints work better than others for this. I have tried a couple paints that have been so clumpy when I'm mixing it with the water and it just doesn't mix. Like, I don't know why. It just doesn't blend, doesn't mix. Like, it just won't. So, some colors just gotta give up on and let them go and find something similar. But so far, turquoise hasn't given me any problems. So, I'm just gonna keep. Just a little bit more water. That was too much water. <laughs> also, just so you know, it took me like almost a year to figure out how to do this. So if it doesn't work for you the first time, don't give up. Just keep on figuring it out so you find something that works for you. And try different things. Like, if you find a silicone oil that works better than the one I use, please let me know because I would appreciate that greatly. Okay, this is almost done. Yeah, see how it's not, like, super drippy, but it's still drippy? It's like, okay, there's a couple of paint clumps in there. But it's, like, melted ice cream. Like, that's the only thing I can really compare it to, I think. Because it's thick, but not gloppy, you know? So then... After you're done mixing it with water, you take the flow troll and fill the cup with it. It mixes in there so well. And really like what it does is it not only helps to form the cells, but it um, gives you more paint, like a larger amount of mixed paint and you get to save regular paint. So see, that's like melted ice cream to me, in my opinion. And then the last step when you're mixing your paint is to put a couple drops of this in it. I get this also at Home Depot or, no, at Lowe's. I get this at Lowe's. I haven't seen it at Home Depot, but I guess I didn't really look. I always say that I'm gonna put like three drops in it, but I end up just putting in like 30, so. About that amount. I just got it all over my hand. I'm good at life. Yeah, she's ready. Okay, so I am going to finish mixing the rest of the paints and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I finished mixing all the paints. I'm just gonna show you the colors that I used. This one is light blue mixed with nothing just light blue 
this one is brilliant blue mixed with unbleached titanium this one was just plain unbleached titanium but i did five drops of this turquoise color which was the color that i mixed and showed you guys and two drops of just brilliant blue and then the last color is just unbleached titanium in the last video i did it was just a pour and a swipe but in this one i'm actually going to dirty pour i'm going to pour it into the cup and then put it in the middle of the pay in the canvas so um the two outsides right here are going to be unbleached titanium the middle is going to be whatever we pour in this cup so since the outside is going to be unbleached titanium i think i want to start with this brilliant blue and just pour a nice little base in it I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's finished, but that's it right now. Now I'm going to take the unbleached titanium mixed with brilliant blue. And then light blue. And then turquoise. Oh, look at that. I'm going to try and hold it while I pour and see if you guys can watch that way. Next, I'm going to take that mixture again. And then some more of the dark brilliant blue. Just look at that. Okay, so the, I'm gonna set the extra paint aside. I actually think that I'm gonna, ch I'm changing my mind. I, instead of doing another beach one i'm going to invert this painting basically so i'm gonna have the unbleached titanium in the middle and then the blues on the outside so i'm just gonna make sure your edges are covered too that's a huge thing for me i think that they look so much more complete when the edges are fully covered so i'm just gonna cover the edges first And I'm running out, so that's fantastic. But we're just gonna make sure it's covering everything. I actually am going to take some of this, the mixture to finish the side. Cause it's still a very light color and it will have a good contrast with that blue. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, uh, my sweatshirt. So I'm gonna drip it forward, drip it down, drip it in towards the rest of the painting. Just making sure it's got a pretty good coverage. Okay, now it's for the pretty part. So we're gonna take this, hopefully we have enough. If we don't, we can just re-pour. But um, I'm just gonna start. So, I'm going to tip that that way so that it covers the edge of the canvas. I don't know if I actually covered the edge or not, but I'm just going to hope I did. I'm going to push them towards each other. I am going to pour another cup full with more dark for the center. Like a lot more.
Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I mean, it hasn't dried yet or anything, but I think it turned out pretty freaking perfect, except I wanted the sides to be, like I wanted it to be this whole portion. It's not focusing. I wanted this whole portion to be titanium, but I don't really care because look at how awesome these cells are. I love this part and then it's really cool because like this versus this stripe are like opposites but yeah I'm pretty proud of it I wish that they stayed glossy like that like they would look so cool but um I might varnish this one might not I don't know but yeah if you guys like this video please like and subscribe if you aren't already um I'm sorry I didn't do both paintings in this like I said I was going to. I felt like it was going to be a really, really long video and I didn't want to bore you to death. But if you guys liked this, let me know in the comments below and I will do another one. It won't be as in-depth. There won't really be detail. It might just be a time lapse with some music in the background. But if you guys are interested and want to see more like this, please comment, like, and subscribe and comment any ideas for other videos that you would like to see me do. Thank you, have a great day.